going to solve a problem on how we can determine the transfer function of a system using the board plot. So let's take a problem. So our problem is to determine the transfer function of the system having the board plot and the board plot is shown us in the figure. On the y-axis we have the magnitude in the decibels dB and on the x-axis we have log omega that is logarithm of the frequency. Here we have the frequency starting from omega equals to 1 then omega equals to 10, 100, 1000. Okay, so we have to determine the transfer function of this system using this board plot. So let's solve this problem. Now in the transfer function, we have various types of factors. We can have a constant term, we can have an integral factor, first order factor or second order factors. So we will start from the constant term K. So first, we will have to calculate the magnitude at this point x because here no magnitude is given it is just the point x so to determine this point our first step is calculation of magnitude at point x okay so this the formula for this magnitude at the point x is magnitude at point x equals to slope into the number of decades between the two frequencies. So this is the formula to calculate the magnitude at point x. So at point x the slope is what minus 20 dB per decade. So 20 is the slope we will write here 20. Then number of decades between the two frequency here we have log uh, this omega equals to 1 is the frequency and here the frequency is 10. So the difference will be log 10 minus log 1 because the it is a logarithmic graph and the frequencies on this x-axis it is in log so here we will write the difference as log 10 minus log 1 so this is the magnitude just calculate it it is 20 into 1 minus 0 so the magnitude will be 20 at the point x magnitude at point x so in the board plot we will write here the magnitude as plus 20 now here this plus 20 and this is having so this part this magnitude part it is 20 log k k is the constant term and it will be equals to 20 so a second is the calculation of k the constant term or we can say the gain of the system so it will be 
20 log k is equal to the magnitude at that point x or the point at which the boat plot is starting. So this boat plot is starting from 20. So this 20 log k is equal to 20. So it will become k is equal to 10. Okay, because this is log k equals to 1. So k will be equals to 10. So we have calculated the constant term. Now third we have. Now this slope it is minus 20 dB per decade and this is passing from omega equals to 1. Starting from this omega equals to 1 it means it is passing through this point. So this will be an integral factor and having the slope minus 20 dB per decade it means that it is present in the denominator part. So slope change in the first line is minus 20 dB per decade and omega equals to 1. So it indicates it is an integral factor 1 by s. So here we have k by s. So k is what 10? So it will be the integral factor will be 10 by s. Now we have the corner frequencies. Corner frequency means the frequency at which the slope is changing. So slope is changing at omega equals to 10. It is becoming minus 20 to minus 40. And here also it is changing at 10 uh, at 100 from minus 40 to minus 60. So corner frequencies are. n and 100 so fourth point will be that at this omega equals to because here we are having the corner frequency as 10 so omega equals to 10 we have slope change is Because earlier the slope was minus 20, now it has become minus 40. So the slope changes minus 20 dBs per decade. Now negative sign means that it is present in the denominator. And having slope 20, it means that it is a first order factor. Now here we are having omega equals to 1 by t. Here omega is what? Omega is coming out to be 10. So t will be 1 by 10. So the factor will be 1 upon 1 plus s by 10. Because it is present in the denominator and we will write it in the form 1 plus st. So t is 1 by 10. So it has become 1 upon 1 plus s by 10. So this is our uh, second, uh, third factor present in the transfer function. Now next we have the corner frequency as 100. Because at 100 the slope of the boat plot is changing from minus 40 to minus 60 dBs per decade. So the slope changes minus 20 because minus 40 and minus 60. So the slope changes minus 20 here. So at this omega equals 200. Slope changes minus 20 dBs per decade. Now, this minus sign means that it is present in the denominator and 20 means that it is a first order factor. Now, calculating the time constant t, so omega is equal to 1 by t, omega is the corner frequency, so t will be equal to 1 by 100. Now, we will write the first order factor in the form 1 plus st, so 1 upon 1 plus s by 100. So this is our fourth factor. Now the open loop transfer function now it will become
we will write all the factors here the open loop transfer function is gs hs so first we have the constant term as 10 then we have the integral factor s then we have first order factor 1 plus s by 10 and then we have the another first order factor 1 plus s by 100 so this is our transfer function of the system okay so in this way we can find out the transfer function of a system using the board plot so i hope this problem is clear to you thank you